Hi, I'm Daisy Quinetti. Welcome to Chat and Dish. Today I'm crabby. No, it's not PMS. I'm just going to show you how to make fantastic crab cakes. These are a little different than your normal southern crab cakes that have red peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers in them. Today we are going to let our crabs sing solo. Let's go over the ingredients. We've got 8 to 10 ounces of beautiful crab meat here. 4 ounces of whipped cream cheese. I buy the one with the chives. You don't have to. You can add fresh chives if you'd rather. Now we've got Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, a smidge of horseradish, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, three egg whites, a little bit of oil for frying, and that's it on the crab cakes. Now for the sauce that we're going to serve them with, we need mayonnaise, lemon, buttermilk, fresh dill, parsley, and chives. That's it. Let's get started. For a sauce, start off by zesting one lemon into a half a cup of mayonnaise. Add a tablespoon of lemon juice. In goes a quarter cup of buttermilk. We need about four tablespoons of fresh chopped dill, two tablespoons of fresh chives, and two tablespoons of flat leaf Italian parsley. Drop your herbs into the sauce and go ahead and give it a good stir. Sauce goes into the fridge while we attack the crab cakes. Combine the fresh crab with four ounces of whipped cream cheese, half a cup of panko or breadcrumbs, half a cup of grated Parmesan, Half teaspoon each of salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Beat three egg whites until they're nice and stiff. We're going to fold our egg whites into our crab mixture one third at a time. Last third goes in. Make sure that you fold your egg whites in gently. Combine a half a cup of panko or breadcrumbs with two tablespoons of Parmesan. Now we're going to form our crab cakes about a quarter of a cup per crab cake. Just gently mold them into a nice little patty and then both sides are dipped in our breadcrumbs. Heat four tablespoons of olive oil and add your crab cakes. When your crab cakes are golden brown, go ahead and turn them over. Crab cakes are done. They've cooked about four minutes per side. My favorite way to have the crab cakes is as a mini slider. Put your sauce on top of a little bun, add a crab cake, couple of slices of Havarte dill, and if you've got some bacon that's cooked, go ahead and add that too. A little more sauce on top, and then some fresh baby greens, and you are ready to indulge. I bet you think my mouth is not big enough to take a bite of this. Well, let's see. Mmm. It is plenty big. Oh, oh these are so fantastic. Mmm. Incredible. You've got to try them. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I hope you have a crabby day too. I'm going to miss you. Bye.